Hello Diamonds, this is Lakeisha coming to you from Hair Trends for You and I hope all is well with everyone and I hope that you are enjoying your e your evening. Um, here it's like uh, 12.30 here in Texas where I am and I just decided to come in um, because I'm just getting home and I decided to show you guys um, what I have been impressed with and you know when I see or find something that I really like, I have to really like it to bring it really to you. Um, well, I have to be really impressed by it. Okay. So, um, I want to show you guys my face and what I've been wearing for about a week. And, um, I found, I think, what is going to work for me. Even though other, um, like the Maybelline, um, the BB cream and all those things, well, just maybe the BB cream and the Garnier whatever those work for me but I'm talking about like um like foundation wear or some a real foundation and what I found that really works for me for as oil control um stand put um let me see I left the house around three in this afternoon and again it's like 12 30 now and everything still looks the same i haven't touched up anything and i hate touching up anyway so you really won't catch me touching up anything but uh what i bought was the dual finish um it is by lancome and it is matte dior three I guess that's the color I guess matte Dior three and it says it's a versatile powder makeup but it's actually um, a foundation powder so this is the what color the color of it and um, I'm assuming that Matte Dior 3 is the color of this and the brand is Dual Finish, Lancome Dual Finish and um, it's in a compact and it's um, it goes on like a pressed powder here's you know light it off or you can use a brush it's up to you um, but I noticed when I use um, just a sponge it seems to last longer but when I use them kind of moves if that makes any sense and uh, even when I used the pat um, the brush it didn't like still didn't get oily but I noticed that it kind of everything didn't seem like it was smooth or something like that as it was with me using the sponge also I also got the two I got two samples from them which was the let me see one was the the six 24 hour wear and here it is it's the 24 hour and it's a tester so and this is in a suede for 50 that's my color it just comes in a little sample like this and i like this as well i wore it um uh, when did i wear this monday i believe and um it's all free which is what i like about this and it gives you a flawless look also uh, i got the i can't read her handwriting what it says um something for shoe sway two it is in sway two and it's like this is like their so-called tinted moisturizer i would say it's not as supposed um, to be as big as, as, as the 24 hour um foundation in lancome these are by lancome and um i like both of these actually you can build this up and this one is 30 something dollars this one it was 44 this powder was 35 and some change um 
but I am real, real happy with um, the products. I don't be, my face don't feel like it's like clogged up or itching or anything else. And I want to also share with you guys, I think I found my primer that I'm going to stick with. Because once you find something that works for you, you need to stick with it. And it is the Neutrogena Shine Control uh, Primer. And I put this on and it just mats your face and you can you can like see your face matte when even before you even put makeup on. My face even look good um, with this on without even putting makeup on. It just mattifies your face. I got this at Walgreens and it was like $12 or something like that. And it comes out white like this but it got some beads or something in it. But I love this. I done got rid of all my other primers. I promise you, when I use this, I do not get oily at all. I tried the, um, what is that stuff that make up magnesia and all that, and I still get oily during the day. But with this, I, I know it's just been a week, but that is good for me because I will get oily. My skin's so oily, and it's so hot, you gonna see some oil. And with this, I have not seen no oil. With um, this powder though, it's not oil free. It's not oil free. Um, it's for all skin types. So, um, I probably will go back and get the 24 hour um, um, foundation and suede because, you know, it it is oil free. And when I wore it, I, I, I didn't, I feel just like my skin, you know. Um, I don't feel like I have a lot of makeup on I feel my face just, I don't know, it just looks real good. It looks healthy and everything like that. Um, for lipstick, I have on, because a lot of you guys been asking. Oh, but in my other video with the braids, I had on, that was Keisha Dior. Uh, rude something. Rude boy, rude something, that purple. This one I have on, today is the 919B. I believe this is in Vamp. And it's just a dark purple color. I'll swatch it for you guys. And I wasn't able to find it here. So I had to get it off of eBay. I will put the link down below. And I will show you guys another thing. Something else that I'm loving too. Is okay, the um, lipstick that um, I had on with my braids. And you guys was asking which lipstick that was. It was the K.O.R. by Keisha, Keisha K.O.R., um, The Rude Girl, and it looks like this. And I'll swatch it up against the, I think it's called Vamp, I want to say by Win and Wow, but I think this was a limited edition. That's um, Rude girl and that's bam but this lipstick though you have to make sure your lips is right honey and I use like a um I think it's called cranberry by NYX and um outline my you know my lips but this have came off I had to retouch this everything stay in place besides my lipstick okay Another thing I've been loving is this Milani Baked Blush, which I love their blushes anyway. And it is the Red Vino, Vino in 09. 